This video is a part of a presentation of the paper titled Piles of Thumbnails Visualizing Document Management, which was presented at the ITI 2005 conference. This demo video shows some of the ideas from the paper. Here we have a desktop with a few piles. The desktop provides great visual clues about the position of items, but it has a disadvantage of limited space. We suggested Sumable interface were unneeded and less used piles would be moved farther away and would look smaller, while most used piles would be in the foreground of the desktop and look bigger. But even then, the desktop would probably get cluttered after a while. Let's take a look at some of the features. Let's open the web browser and select some text which, would, which we would like to save. If we drag the selection to a pile, a new file is created with the same meta text as the HTML page. A new file is also automatically positioned, so the most noticeable parts of all thumbnails are still visible. But users will still have total control over the rearrangement of, piles in a, of items in a file. Some information is shown about the file if we click on it, like a part of the text and other metadata. The same happens if we click on a file. Now we'll try to find some files that correspond to a certain criteria. If we type a word in a search box, all the files corresponding to the search text get red border. We can see this in real time. And visual clues like thumbnails and their spatial positions quickly help us to find the items we're looking for. We can group found items into a new pile. There are also other options that can help us finding files. This double slider helps us to reduce the number of items on the desktop, which also helps, uh, helps us fight clutterness. Let's say we want to see only files that were modified in a certain period of time. While dragging sliders, thumbnails are hiding or showing up. There can be many other criteria to lessen the number of items on the desktop, like viewed time, creation time, document size, document type. These are just some of the ideas that would likely help us managing documents on the desktop.